Good morning, everybody. I know it's a weird color because I have this aroma diffuser thingy and um, my salt lamp, so they're like different colors and everything, but today is going to be a what I eat in a day video, and normally I don't start off this early, but I wanted to show you guys that I'm having a liter of warm water with the juice of one lime to start with and then I'm gonna do some yoga just to stretch out and like wake my body up and then I'm gonna go make some breakfast but yeah today's gonna be a what I eat in a day video and I hope you guys find it interesting find some inspiration especially from a person who's in college living in an apartment trying to live reasonably frugally so let's get started So I just finished yoga and I'm gonna have some bananas and a lot of you guys keep saying that I eat so little and my banana bowls or like my bowl sizes are like really small but I don't think you realize how big this bowl is it covers my whole entire head like it's very huge I like using big bowls because I'm too lazy to get up and get more servings with a smaller bowl I do have smaller bowls these are very small these are the things that I put I don't know small nice cream portions to take cute pictures of. Alright, so here's the final product. I obviously topped it with blueberries and bikinis. Obviously I'm gonna put more bikinis because I just put a little bit for an Instagram picture, but that's not real life guys. I'm basically gonna smother this whole thing in bikinis. And I put some blackstrap molasses on top. I did a video about the benefits of blackstrap molasses, so if you guys are into that, you can look it up in the little search bar on my channel. And now I'm going to eat this. I'd rather show you that I'm topping it with some ground flax seeds for um, a little extra health. Okay, I'm back from school and I don't really know what I want to eat yet, so I'm just gonna have some strawberries dipped in sugar. I freaking love doing this. Mm. Lunch is going to be this papaya and whatever things I decide to put with it. Apparently the seeds are really good for digestion, so my friend Angie was like, I eat a spoonful of it before I eat the papaya, so they're actually really not that good. I've tried them before. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just, ah! They're really bitter and spicy. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to clean up this papaya and then set it all up for an Instagram shot because Instagram is really the only reason why I make my food look nice. I got some papaya, bananas, strawberries, and coconut shreds right on top. I'm so excited to eat this. I haven't had papaya in like eight months or nine months. It's been so long. I'm just gonna dig in and then show you guys my face eating it. Okay, I'm going to enjoy this now without the camera in my face. Now that I think of it, I should have squeezed lime on that papaya. Hmm. But anyway, before I have to leave to go to office hours, I just wanted to show you guys this cool thing that you can actually get notifications on your phone from your YouTube app whenever I upload a video. So I'm just gonna take free leave, for example. Usually when you go to your channels, you click their page and then it goes to their videos. But if you press the home and then you look how there's like a bell there and if you press the bell thing, then you'll be notified about every new video from the channel. And that way you guys will never have to miss out. Two hours later. Okay, so it's not quite dinner time yet, but I thought that I should do this actually before the sun goes down and it gets dark and I have to use like the ugly yellow fluorescent lighting. This video has been filmed over the course of a typical day in a college student's life. And I thought that it would be a great way to show you guys that one, you can be a vegan while you're in college. Two, you don't have to spend a lot of money or time or effort doing it. And three, it's fun and it's so good for your health and it'll keep you healthy and all that good stuff. I mean, I think college is the best time to go vegan because for people who are dorming or they live in an apartment to go to college, you're away from your family and your parents so they don't really control what you're eating at this point. And if you are living with your family, 
it's kind of easier to do what you want because you're in and out of the house so much for, with college, with work, with friends, whether or not you guys believe it, for people who live at home still, who go to college, like you are treated more as an adult when you cross over from the high school to college life. So it's easier to assert your opinions and the things that you want to do with your life and your health. As long as you stay educated and you have a reason as to why you're going vegan, it's a lot easier when you're in college rather than when you're in high school, you're like treated like a kid. Another reason why it's like best to go vegan in college is because it'll help you stay healthy so you can stay powered through whatever physical activities that you want to do hanging out with friends it'll also help power you through your studying and also for those of you guys who are concerned about weight gain I promise you going vegan will help you avoid the freshman 5 I know it used to be called the freshman 15 but science has studied that it's actually 5 and while you're in college there's also a lot of like-minded people around you if you just open your eyes and take a look and try to find other vegans or vegetarians around that can help you you know expand your horizons and socialize and test out waters and learn new things that you have never learned before about the way that our world works and the system and the animals that's not really the whole point of my talk I just wanted to throw it out there that college really is the best time to go vegan because it's the most independent time of your life I don't mean independent monetarily you're being independent in terms of your living situation and in terms of what you do from a day-to-day -day basis um, this video is actually a collab with one of my beautiful beautiful, amazing friends, Ashley from Ron College. Check out her page. I will link her down below. We're just sharing three of our tips for college students. I have three tips and she also gives three tips in another one of her what I eat in a day as a college student videos. Let's just start with my tips and then if you want to go learn three more super helpful tips to stay vegan in college, check out her channel. She is actually a raw vegan and she has been doing such a good job at it by balancing her friends, studying and eating healthy and she's even been featured on a couple news shows or one news show I think. I love her videos. They're very simple and clean and all her food looks so nice and refreshing. She really is a good role model for people who want to stay vegan in college and stay healthy and awesome. Okay, so my first tip would be getting a rice cooker. If you're not a raw vegan, obviously, then a rice cooker is definitely helpful. In my first year of college, I had a rice cooker and I literally used that every day, if not twice a day. I cooked rice in it and I had the one that had like a steamer tray. So while I was cooking rice, I could steam veggies and there was my meat. All I have to do was like add on some beans or nutritional yeast or hot sauce or whatever I wanted But you could also cook potatoes in there, which I cooked You could also cook pasta in there, which I cooked You can literally do so many things with a rice cooker It's insane and you don't even need a range for it My second tip would be get educated Know why you're vegan Watch documentaries like Earthlings, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives, Fed Up, Vegucated, Food Matters, Food Inc., Plant Pure Nation. Watch YouTube videos. Just educate yourself. Go on nutritionfacts.org. Go watch Dr. McDougall's thing. Oh, watch the best speech you'll ever hear by Gary Yarofsky. Know why you're vegan. Have a good idea of rebuttals that you can use for people who question you the typical what if you were stuck on an island and the only thing on an island for you to eat was a pig. Would you eat it or would you starve because you're vegan? Or where do you get your protein? Where do you get your calcium? Where do you get your iron, B12? and all those other things, make sure you know what to say to those because I promise you there are answers on the internet, there's answers in books and documentaries that you can search for all over the place and as long as you know that, then it'll be harder for them to come down at you and try to break your pillars of veganism. And my third tip would be if you're living in a dorm and you have a meal plan at your cafeteria, try to stick to the basics. Don't try to skirt around looking for oh what vegan meal is here like they don't have any vegan meals I can't be vegan you can make your own you can mix and match sides I know that cafeterias that are like buffet style will most likely have separate sides the Boston University one for example had a big rice cooker with rice so you could take that rice and you could go top it with a soup that's vegan of course you could go top it with some veggies or beans from the salad bar you could mix and match a bunch of things and if anything don't be afraid to talk to the chefs or talk to the people who are coordinating the food in the cafeteria and tell them about your veganism and ask them if there's anything that they could do to accommodate you to help you fuel yourself through your college studies 
it's really not much to ask. Try not to make it seem like, oh, please, can you make me a veganized filet mignon with a Gruyere mac and cheese? Like, but make sure it's vegan. Like, don't try to do that. Just tell them it's very simple. If you could just have like staple starches out for me, like potatoes or pasta or rice, beans and stuff like that, and just some fresh veggies, which I'm sure they have. Like, it's not hard. If you are motivated to stay vegan, then you will go through these steps to get what you want. And at the same time, you are paying for the food at your college so you might as well get what you're paying for and make the most out of it. Being assertive is really important if you're not finding anything that you could mix and match and be creative with in the cafeteria. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure that you could be creative and find something for eating vegan. Those are my three tips. If you want to know any more, go on to Ashley's channel, Raw in College, and watch her video for more. Make sure you give her a subscribe because she's freaking awesome and very positive and I feel like everybody needs that little ray of sunshine in their life. Okay, so on to dinner. Okay, so dinner is nothing special. It's just gonna be some rice that I reheated and stirred up with some spinach and a tomato sauce that I made of just tomato puree, a little bit of sugar, and a spoonful of tahini. I'll put that on top of some chopped lettuce and I have some beans left over from yesterday that I'm gonna eat and I have some grated carrots here. And that should be dinner if I decide not to add sriracha, but I'm probably gonna add sriracha nutritional yeast because like those two things together are life. Here's my dinner that, as you can tell, takes uh, no effort to make because it looks like shit. But there's the brown rice and the beans and the grated carrots and the lettuce is underneath. And I already put the sauce all on top, but you can't really tell. I don't think I made enough. So I might make a little bit more. I also have this mashed up avocado that I mashed with lemon pepper and these little lettuce chip thingies that I was dipping into the tomato sauce, but I think I'm gonna make more of the tomato sauce because eating the lettuce with tomato sauce is actually really good and oddly satisfying. So I'm gonna make some more of that and eat that with this and enjoy my dinner. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to start filming myself eating, but after dinner I got a little bit hungrier, but I didn't really want anything like savory. So I just warmed up two of these little snack rounds because they're really freaking good. And after that, I'm gonna have a square bar. And yeah, I've been eating one of these every single night. It's like my little dessert thing. I freaking love square bars. They're so good. <laughs> 